How's it going guys, Sharplox here. For this video, we are going to be talking about Roblox gift cards, but more specifically, the free bonus accessories that come with them. I'm sure you all know about Roblox gift cards by now and how they work, but if you don't very quickly, basically, if you decide to buy one online or even a physical card from a store, once you redeem the code, it will come with a free avatar accessory. It could literally be anything they change every month. They're normally like very generic accessories, either based off like random stuff, you know, like non copyrighted stuff, or they could be based off Roblox games, the Roblox logo, something about Roblox's history. Yes, here you go, here's an example, here is all of the recent Roblox gift card items, and they're basically very, very generic. I mean, yeah, you could have a cap with bunny ears, a Roblox laptop, a cat mask or something. They're not really like related to certain companies or certain products. Well, I say that because the thing is, guys, they did actually used to be. So yeah, take a look at this item from 2010, a Roblox 7 card. It's actually a gear accessory and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. This is what it looks like if you own it and equip it on your avatar. But basically what Roblox did here is they partnered with 7-Eleven to sell Roblox gift cards. And these were like the first sponsored gift card items ever. One of the items you could get for redeeming a gift card code was this, a 7-Eleven Slurpee. I've never actually tried one of these because we don't have 7-Eleven in the UK. I think we used to until like 1997 or something, I don't know. Basically they've all gone though. But yeah, this is one of the free items you could get from the gift cards. Here's another one as well, a blue raspberry Slurpee, again from 7-Eleven. Basically guys, these were sponsored gift card items. Now the thing with these items is not everyone really likes them, and I can kind of understand why. Because when you spend money on a gift card and you get a bonus item, you shouldn't really get like a branded bonus item. I don't know, that's kind of like you're paying for like a sponsorship item. And we all know how easy it is to play a Roblox event these days and get like a random sponsored accessory. So yeah, the fact fact that people were actually spending money on these fairly basic sponsored items, I guess these accessories weren't really that popular. Back then, Roblox did find a way around this by basically just putting the company's name in the title of the item. So like this one, for example, the Deluxe Batwings, a 7-Eleven exclusive. You know what? I think that's pretty cool. I do actually like these Batwings. That's really nice. They did it for other companies as well, like Target and stuff like that. I really like this limited, Jacko the Mist. That looks so cool. Roblox kind of realized it was a bit mean, selling like branded items as bonus code items. So instead they went back to the random generic stuff. Well, until now guys in 2022, because branded bonus items have now returned. Roblox players were even more disappointed this time because they thought this accessory was going to be free. And yeah, it's this thing right here, the Genesis Dragonoid. If you don't know what this is, it's from Bakugan. And if you were playing Roblox last year, you might have noticed we did have a Roblox Bakugan event. And by playing that event, you could get this, the Bakugan Dragonoid companion for free. You can also buy it for a little bit of Robux, it's 100. I don't know why you would though, you can literally get it from the game for free. But it seems guys, the brand new Bakugan item is now a bonus gift card item. Yeah, look at this, I'm not joking. Behold, the almighty ancestor of all Bakugan. This item grants you access to all 10 original Bakugan in the Bakugan Battle League experience and can only be redeemed via bonus code included with gift cards purchased directly from Robux com slash gift cards between September and November. So that's right, Roblox really brought back sponsored gift card items, or sponsored bonus items, however you prefer to call them. And I don't really know how to feel about that. I really feel like Roblox should have given this thing away for free. I guess since sponsored events are back, sponsored items are also back as well, which is a bit disappointing, but yeah, there you go. So normally this Bakugan item would be displayed on the Roblox gift card page. Currently, they haven't updated it yet. However, shout out to Noah for providing me with this secret link. Basically, this is like a very early access to see what it looks like. And we can see the Genesis Dragonoid. Yep, a bonus exclusive virtual item. I know it has game exclusives and stuff like that, but even so, I'm still pretty sure this thing should have really been free. I swear they also did like a massive update on this game as well. Didn't these guys add like tons of Bakugan episodes or something? But really, they gave away no free prizes? Have they deleted the badges section? What is going on? Let me join the game quickly and I'll find out. What the heck is this? Oh, well, let's click on collect rewards. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, basically you can watch episodes of Bakugan. I don't know if I should show all of that because I'm probably going to get like a copyright claim or something. But yeah, they updated the game and added absolutely no new free prizes. Even though they were displaying this game on the events tab for like a couple of days. So when I saw that, I thought, oh, the new Bakugan events here. But it turns out it actually wasn't. I don't know how they got it on the events section, but yeah, that's a mystery. As I was editing this video, guys, I found some more 
interesting information about this Bakugan exclusive virtual item. So apparently if you live in America, the first 10,000 people to buy one of these gift cards also gets a limited edition Genesis Dragonoid trading card. So that's kind of interesting. Roblox actually send you something in the mail if you end up getting this virtual item. Now unfortunately for me guys, I can't get this because this deal is an American exclusive only thing. So unless you live in America, well you can't get it. There's a picture of the card in the screenshot though. I'm not really a fan of Bakugan. I used to have some when I was a kid, but I didn't really like it as much as Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. If that was a Yu-Gi-Oh card, I would probably buy it. Yeah, 10k of them available, kind of rare I guess. I don't know why this is America only. It really doesn't cost a lot of money to send a card in a letter in the post, does it? I hate these regional exclusive things. That's something that's really got to go. But yeah, that's pretty interesting for sure. It's also only available for people over 13. But yeah, I guess some are still available by the time I upload this video so if you guys want to get one make sure to use star code shark blocks and yeah good luck maybe you get a free trading card as well this thing does have a special effect as well i'll show you guys what it does quickly i don't think it was that interesting anyway okay there you go so it glows red so yeah not that amazing i guess it does that in the anime or something so yeah it's okay if you guys want it then get it if you want i guess people would only really buy this if they wanted the robux anyway right so there you go i guess that's the main news for today's video roblox sponsored gift card items have returned let me know down below in the comment section guys do you prefer it as like random generic stuff just like this the current one at the friendly flying saucer or do you like sponsored items because you get stuff with like logos on and you know they're based off real brands and stuff i don't know let me know down below in the comment section which one you prefer but yeah that's it for today cheers for watching leave a like and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one